Are you planning to run events and just don't want to be locked into a plan paying month to month? Well, there's a WordPress plugin that's called Eventin and it's super flexible. So let me show you this right now. I already installed Eventin on this WordPress site so you can see how it actually works and how easy it is to get started once you watch this video. So let me show you a quick event that I've created. Once you go to this event, we can check it out. We can see the basic information and we can go ahead and attend this event. Now, what I like about WordPress is that you have a lot of flexibility. You can use it with other themes. We can make it look really nice or we can make it look simple just like it's looking right now. So this is a simple one. Nothing fancy about it, but I can make this look really cool because that's the flexibility that we get with WordPress. Now, right now, there's a deal that's going on right now. It's $59 for the lifetime deal. That's where it starts off. That means you pay once and you can use it forever. I will be leaving a link in the description just in case you want to check it out. Now, one of the good things about Eventing is that it integrates with WooCommerce, Stripe, Zoom, Twilio, Pally, Zapier, and basically anything with Zapier and Pally because it gives you that flexibility. Now, what I like about it being integrated with WooCommerce is that we can integrate it with any payment gateway that you have in WooCommerce. So there's a lot of payment gateways all around the world, and with WooCommerce, we have that flexibility of using it with it. So let me show you the other plans that they have available because they have licensed here. So there's license tier one, which is the $59 deal. You get five sites installed. I think most people would be like enough with this, even me. I don't think I would need more than five sites. But if I plan to do this to sell it to someone else, build it for clients or whatever, I would recommend jumping into license tier three, which gives you unlimited sites. Okay, so enough talk about that. Let's get into the actual fun of eventing. Now, what I've done on this side is I already installed Eventim, and there's a startup wizard in case you want to use that. And if you want to start it off, you can go ahead and click on wizard and start steps to step to set it up. In this case, I've already set it up. It's super easy. And the first thing that you want to do is obviously set up, for example, location, schedules, tags, categories, and just it's little things that you want to set up before you actually get started. Once you have that set up, you can create an event. So let me create one right here. There we go. I can name this, for example, I don't know, Expo 2022. And I can add some information for this. For example, this is an event for this video. All right, so that's it. Um, category, I'll set it up for event. I'll add the tag to event. And this section right here is added because I have the event and plugin. And this is where the beauty is going to start. For example, the event schedule. Select all the schedules created for this event. So for example, I have pre-built schedules, which I've set on my settings over here, or I can create a schedule right here. If I click on create a schedule, it's going to open up that section of eventing and I can set up the schedule, all right? Since I've already done it, I can go ahead and just use it. The organizer, I already added myself. It's gonna be an organizer or a speaker. I can add some social media links right here, which I won't do on this video. I won't take your time. The event logo, for example, I can upload an image and I'll just grab this image for now. I already uploaded this one. Background color for calendar, I can change that there, the color for calendar, etc. The venue location. So if, for example, I want to enter the full address or existing locations. So in this case, I can add a location or create one. Again, you can create it beforehand on the left menu from the event in section. Date and time, for example, obviously set the time for the zone. The event start time, I'll just wing it here. I'll just add that there. I'll add one hour for the end event. The start date, it's going to start tomorrow and it's going to end the next day. Well, that's, that's a lot of time, but just for setting it up. Is it going to be a recurring event? I can set this up. I haven't done it so, but if I want to set a recurring here, I can set it right here for daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. I won't do so right now. Ticket and pricing. So right now, I can add ticket pricing to this or free tickets. For example, I can say free, ticket price, zero, minimum quantity. So for example, they can order one, then the maximum purchase. Since it's free, we'll say, you know what, two. And I can add another one, another tier to this. I can say this is the VIP one. And the ticket price for this one is going to be, I don't know, $100. And number of tickets for this, I'm only going to sell 1,000. Minimum quantity, one. Maximum, 100. And I can add more to this, all right? Banners. If I want an alignment, set the alignment for this. Display banner. Frequently asked questions. And CRM if I'm integrated into one. So for example, enable fluent CRM right there. So let's go ahead and save this really quickly. 
There we go, it's been saved. Let's go ahead and check it out really quickly right here. Go ahead and open this. And here's the event for this. For example, here it is. Let me add the image to this really quickly. Set the featured image. I'll set this one. Update it. Go ahead and refresh. And there we go. We have that there. Now, I created an event section on my homepage. Let me show you really quickly. Let's go back into the main events. Whoops. Homepage. And I created this page where I embedded the events. So you can see there's two events right here. The Expo 22, that 2022, that's the one I created right now. And that's the old one. I use the same image. But you can see, this, these, see these in a list if I add them there. I'll show you how to do this in a bit. Okay, so that's how easy it is to create an event. Now, the things that you want to set up, obviously here, is head on over to settings. This is really important because we can set the display settings. So display right here. The date format settings. So just in case, for example, in the United States, it's month, date, year. In Mexico, in my case, it's day, month, year. So it changes and I have the option to do so right here. If you want to set up via 12 hours or 24 hours, you can go through these settings really quickly. Slug settings, the WooCommerce section. So for example, if you have WooCommerce installed on your WordPress site, we can enable this and it's going to use the payment gateways that you have there. If not, we can use Stripe right here. And we can set up test mode if you're just going to do testing or set up the live publish key so you can actually charge with Stripe. So just in case you want to set that up. The style for this, primary color, secondary, event settings, integrations, so that you can, you can integrate with Zoom, Groundhog, Google Maps, etc., and set those up right here in settings. Now, one of the things that I want to show you is the short codes. This is a really important feature that you might want to really check it out, okay? So in this section, we're able to, to generate short codes. These short code codes are the ones that we're going to embed on our WordPress site, depending on the section that we want to add in. I'll give you a quick example. Let me go into a page. Let's add a new page. And in this page, I am going to name it, uh, I don't know, events, events two, all right? I'm going to set the default. I can use the built-in WordPress theme or use Divi in this case, which I've installed. But I'll use Divi just to show you what I'm talking about. In this section, it's going to open up the Divi Builder. I am going to use start from scratch, so nothing here. I'll add a complete row. And in Divi, I would select code. And if it were WordPress, I would add the HTML section. So in this section is where I'm going to add my code. So I can create pages and add these codes. Now there's the events, events with calendar, speakers, schedules, advanced search filters, etc. We can use all of this. Let me generate one quickly. I'll add events with calendar. So I'll generate a short code. We'll get some options here. For example, events with calendar. There's a style one, style two, the categories. Full width, we'll say that. Show description, um, we'll say yes for this. And the events limit, five, okay? Let me generate this, here's the code. Let me copy this. And I'm gonna go into the page that I'm building, all right? So I'll add this in my code. There we go. Let's wait for that to read. Seems it's still loading. Let me get another code to make this simpler, all right? I'll grab this one that doesn't need a calendar right now. I'll wrap the events, categories, tags, and I'll generate this. The event limit is 20, so that means that if there's 20 events, it's gonna list them. So you might want to have less in case you have a bunch of them and you want you don't want to list the whole thing. Let me save this one right here. There we go, you can see it, it's added right there. Let's go ahead and save this. So in this case, in this page, I already have the events page. So let me copy this link, go into incognito mode, and let me show you. So this is a live one. You can see the events right here. They can go ahead and attend. So what the flexibility gives you of WordPress is that I can make the site really nice. For example, with Divi or whatever theme you're using, you can customize it way more than what you have right here. Now I can add another short code to this if I want. For example, I'll add another section, another full section here. I'll add code. There we go. And I can generate something else. For example, I don't know, if I want to show speakers, I'll generate the speakers here. Organizers, no, in this case, not speakers. Style one, we'll play with that one. Columns one, uh, descending, generate. Here's the code. Let's go ahead and grab this. Go ahead and save it. Wait for that to load. And there we go. This is one of the speakers. So that's me. What you can see right here, and what I'm trying to tell you is that when you have a WordPress site and you're using the theme, we can embed th these codes in different sections 
to make something look really nice. In this case, we're just putting them one by one, but we can have all the flexibility right here to edit all this code. So if I wanna move this to make it smaller, if I wanna move this in this section, if I wanna do way more with this, this is possible because we're using builders. So now, for example, if I wanna build this section and add it to the top, I'm able to do so. For example, I'll add this code, click away from it, and I'll add it here on the side. What I'm trying to show you is that it's the flexibility of WordPress. It's working with this to make it look really nice. In this case, I'm not working with a theme. I'm not trying to make it look nice, but it is possible. So if I already have a WordPress site and I want to use this in a specific section of my WordPress site, I can do so with these generated short codes. So depending what you want to use it for, well, you grab the short code for this. For example, Events Pro, Events Tab Pro, and there's there's settings for this. For example, with the pro sections, with the short codes, there's more settings that we can use. There's styles and there's things that we can do that makes it look really nice. But basically, that is the eventing system. What I like about it is the flexibility of using it in a WordPress and not giving me limitations of how many events I can create, how much I want to charge, charging me a commission with other type of plans and other companies. In this way, I don't have those limitations because it's my WordPress side. The only comment commissions that I'm going to be charged is the one that the payment gateway is going to charge me, but no extra commissions like it would happen with other plans on other systems and other companies. But that's the system eventing. If you want to check it out, the link will be provided in the description. And that's a wrap.